It's easy to take a gun out of the box and review it, uh, but I really don't think that you're going to get as much information on a gun uh, unless you actually use it. And this is a second look at my Glock 43X based upon the fact that I have now had this gun for a while. I've been carrying it with me regularly and I just wanted to take a few minutes to talk about it. As many of you all know, I have done other videos talking about this gun, doing comparisons of it, uh, and I will leave a card up in the description here in the corner to where you can go and check some of those videos out. And this gun is a phenomenal pistol. There are some people that love Glocks, there are some people that hate Glocks. Uh, me, personally, I'm a little bit of a Glock fan. So I, I guess you could say that there is probably going to be just a little bit of bias in this video. If you have been a follower of my channel for a while, you know that I do have different guns that I enjoy shooting, but typically for carry, the majority of the time, I'm going to have a Glock on me. Now to start with, we are going to unload the gun, just make sure it's safe. Of course we have the Shield Arms 15 round flush fit magazines for Glock just to show you uh, these are a flush fit magazine that brings the capacity up on these guns to the same as a Glock 19 with a factory mag so we're going to remove the magazine set that out of the way we are also going to open the action make sure that there is nothing in the chamber and we are clear as you can see this gun is one that I wanted for a while. Uh, when they first came out with the Glock 43, I liked the idea behind the gun, but I hated the way that it felt in my hand. It was too short. Even with the thumb extension and things like that, I just did not like it. When the 43X came out, originally it had the silver slide, and I looked at those. I really did not like the color of that slide. So then I, uh, I came close to getting one and just Cerakoting it, but shortly before I decided to make that leap, this version came out and of course I had to pick one up. This gun is, in my opinion, a very, very good option for concealed carry. The size of it is perfect uh, for concealed carry. Uh, it's also great as a backup gun, which typically for me, as I mentioned in other videos, this is a backup gun for me. Uh, occasionally I like to carry one of my 1911s, and I will still have this gun on me, just because, uh, just in the event if I needed it. Uh, you know, when uh, you have one go down, and you only have one, then you're left with none. So, this is a very reliable firearm. It does have the Glock reliability. Uh, does have the Glock trigger, and most people hate the Glock trigger. Just to show you again, we are clear. There is a little bit of sponginess to it. Until I hit the wall, I press, follow through, cycle the action, and right there is the reset. Okay. Now, this gun still has factory sights, but I do plan on updating these sometime in the near future. Uh, some people love these sights, some people absolutely hate them. Uh, they are okay. I'm not the biggest fan of them. They do work for just shooting, but for something that I'm going to use for self-defense, I want something a little bit better, so I do plan on upgrading these sights in the near future. I just have not gotten to it yet uh, with other projects going on. This gun for me, I have rather large hands, and you can see how they fit, how they have that it fits in my hands I think that it is fine. You know, of course, the gun being shorter, being thinner, it is very easy to conceal, uh, very comfortable to carry. If you are going to only carry one gun, which, you know, that's your choice, this would be a very good option. It's slim, it is easy to conceal. I have carried this gun in an ankle holster. I have carried this gun in just different kinds of holsters inside the waistband and it works very well. It is very comfortable due to how thin it is. If you go back and look at the video that I did comparing the Glock 43X to the Glock 19, you can see how much thinner this is compared to the Glock 19. Now some people may not think that it is that big of a deal, but I promise you, you will notice the difference 
in size on carrying a Glock 19 uh, versus carrying the Glock 43X. Uh, there is a difference in carrying it. I mean, it's not a huge difference, but depending on how you dress, depending on what you're doing, it is a noticeable enough difference to where it makes this gun much more comfortable. It is a very easy shooting gun, a little bit snappier for some people just because of its size, but in 9mm, it's not that big of a deal for most shooters. Uh, it is a great little pistol. There are tons of accessories coming out for them. I know that you can actually get the MOS version of these now. Uh, this one, of course, is not. It is the original black version, and it is a great little pistol. And after a year of owning this, carrying it regularly, I would have to say that this is possibly one of my top picks for a concealed carry firearm if you're in the market and you could only get one gun. Uh, it is a very great option. Anyways guys, I would love to know your thoughts on the Glock 43X. Leave those down in the description below. Be sure to check out all of the links down in the description below. Be sure to visit my website at BoomstickTactical.com. Thanks for watching. Check out all the links down below, and we will see you next time.